So here it is, the thing I've been waiting for for absolutely ages. Finally managed to get my hands on a tub. I've been looking at loads of websites and they're just always sold out. It's the, um, the white chocolate hazelnut flavor. Obviously they can't call it bueno because of copyright, but that's basically what the flavor is. Um, I've seen a lot of people try it and stuff and all, all the perform, um, not all of them, but like the popular ones like carrot cake and white chocolate hazelnut and, and the brownie one, they're always sold out. Um, and this this literally went in like 20 minutes, so I managed to, managed to actually get a tub. So yeah, let's open it up. It smells like, well, very white chocolatey. But the scoop's not on the top, so let's try and find it. I right, got a scoop. All right, so I've got my water ready in my Captain America shaker. All right, one scoop. How many scoops are in a serving? Let's have a look. Oh, one, yeah, one scoop is in one serving. Happy days. Because there's some proteins out there that are like, you know, they say, they say, um, they say, oh, up to up to 40 grams of protein per serve, we've got to have like three scoops, and then the, and then the tub's gone in like 15 days. It's a joke. But, right, let's give it a mix. Right, mixability. Let's have a look. Right, there's no bits on the top, which is something that the clear way I slit does, which is kind of annoying. So let's give it a go. Yeah, it's all right. I don't like. I don't really like having like chocolatey sort of um, protein shakes with with water anyway. So, if I was to have this, I'd have it probably have it with milk just to give it a bit bit more, uh, make it a bit more creamier. Um, in terms of flavour, I'd probably give that actually. I'm gonna firstly, I'm gonna compare it to an actual Bueno. So let's uh, let's see how the tastes compare. Obviously banging, but obviously because it's white, because there's the milk chocolate on there, you could sort of the milk chocolate sort of binds all the all the flavors together. But with this, thing is, I you know obviously I'm I'm, I'm still sipping it, so it is you know it does taste nice, but I don't think they've quite mastered the flavor just yet. I think they need to uh, maybe maybe go away and maybe add a bit of milk chocolate hints in there or something like that. But yeah, I'd probably give that probably a six. Um, but I've seen a lot of people um, like cook with it and like make stuff with with the with the bueno whey protein. So I'm probably going to give that a go because I'm sure that in like I don't know, so maybe some oats or yeah, maybe some pancakes or anything like that. Um, probably does taste nice. So yeah, I'll probably give that a go. Um, but yeah, off to the gym. Right. So this was a push session with more emphasis on the chest. So um, I started off with. A little bit, little bit of a bench press. I worked up to 120 for I think I did this for six reps. Three, four, five, yeah, six reps. Because I I hit the side as I as I came down, so I thought oh, I'll just do one more. Did it nice and slow for the end, and then yeah, I hit it again. Really annoying, but yeah, that was uh, that was the conclusion of bench, and then went on to just to give that movement a, a bit of a rest. We went on to a, an overhead um, plated shoulder press. Um, I think I had uh, 20, 15, 5, 40 on there, for each side, and this was the final set. So it was a drop set. So um, I think I did eight reps on this. Um, always nice and controlled. Try not to lock too much, too many times at the top. And nice and slow on those on the hardest reps. So the last couple just go really really slow, and you'll uh, you'll feel the most benefit by doing that. And then yeah, just quickly got up and changed the the weights. A bit conscious that the camera was on me a little bit, so hurried up a little bit. I do quite enjoy um one of my favourite parts of um you know going to new gyms and stuff is just trying out all of their plate loaders and stuff because it's such an easy. Um, 
such an easy thing to do in the gym if you if you're stuck on what to do just get onto a plate loader and just see how many plates you can do for a couple of reps is so much better um but yeah this was the drop set i think i did i think i either did 10 or doubled the rep range and went for 16 but i'm not too sure four five six seven eight yeah i think i did 10 oh did i i don't know Must have done 16. Go on, Tom. Oh, yeah, nice and slow on the last one. Love that. So, yeah, the next exercise was a little bit of a, a tricep dip. Now, this is a, a rookie rookie error on my part. I shouldn't have done a tricep dip just after doing um, a shoulder press that was very dominant on the front delts because this is just asking for an injury just that stretch in the in the front delt when i'm do when i'm doing this was just horrible i just i felt like my arms were going to fall off but yeah anyway back to back to this this movement the front front press movement on this uh, on this nice little machine um nicely converged at the front as well just to keep that that tension on the on the chest at all times stopping your your um your elbows from sitting directly underneath your um your wrists so your your chest is engaged at all times it's probably one of my one of my favorite machines in in the gym is this one it's a shame there's not it's a shame there's not a plate loader. they do have a plate loader one of these in there but it's it's just you can't even get in it because it's so narrow it's just yeah it's just very tricep dominant and i can't i can't even use it so this one's just you just have to stick to the the cable machine one unfortunately but it's still a good machine and then yeah finished off with some um some incline buffalo bar um eccentric bench press this was just unbelievable so nice to just get that that extra stretch on it because it's bowed in the middle you can get a bit more of a stretch on it go a bit lower so i got got a, got a nice light weight on there and um well light for light for me anyway might be heavy for others but yeah just nice and slow nice and eccentric and just yeah nice little burnout to finish and then yeah that's the um that's the conclusion of the of the chess session and on to the next day we're going to talk about my week five plans so i was about to have my rice krispies and milk but then i thought you know what why not try it with the whey protein so i'm going to get some milk now mm, i might do a bit more no i'll leave it and then i think probably like just because it's like 150 ml of milk, probably like half a scoop. So it'll only be like 10 grams of protein. So let's measure it out. So that's actually perfectly 15 grams as well because the scoop's um, 30 grams. All right, we'll give that a little shake. And then get the rice crispies out. Well, they're Morrison's rice snaps, but same thing. Honestly, I'm getting so sick of just weighing stuff all the time. It mixed, yes, yeah, mixed. So here we go, ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a bit frothy on top, but. Yeah, it's quite nice to be fair. It's annoying though because like with this, like I feel like I'm having to like take another one just because I'm not too sure. I think it's just because like I'm expecting like a Kinder Bueno taste, but it's just not really like you, like it is like you can you can kind of taste it, but like obviously it's not going to taste exactly like it, and I need to just get that out of my head. But yeah, with milk and Rice Krispies, 
A solid 8 out of 10 to be fair. I bet it's nice for Cocoa Pops. I might try with Cocoa Pops. That'd be good. Oh, endless possibilities. I can't wait to uh, experiment with it. I've got two kilos of it as well. Good purchase. All right, so the update on week four. So I'm down to 92 kilos, which is um, which is really good. So this week I've, I've lost a kilo, I think, because I went up a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been really solid to be fair this week. I haven't I haven't gone off um, my calories or anything. I've always kept like 150 calories in the bank just in case I've gone over with oil or or sauces or anything like that. Um, my macros have been um, solid as well. So like I've given myself like a 10 gram wriggle room. Um, I don't exceed them, but like if I don't hit them, then that's fine. Um, but I've just had the week five update through from Cal and um, he's he's put me he's put me down as a low day on Wednesday and Saturday um, which is going to be interesting like right? I've never done like I've never done the carb cycling before um, so it's going to be on the high days it's just going to be the same thing 2,000 calories 200 grams of carbs 200 grams of protein and 44 fat and then on the low day then it's going to be 1700 calories 128 grams of carbs 191 grams of protein and 47 grams of um, of fat. Um, so basically, I'm I'm only I'm losing out on yeah is that right yeah so 72 grams of carbs 191 um, nine grams of protein down and increase of three grams in fat. So yeah, basically like or, or from what from, from what I take from that is I just won't be on those low days. I just won't be having the basmati rice with my turkey mints. Because that you know that that's around about the same um, amount of carbs and maybe one less rice cake on on those days. So yeah, that's that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the end of week four. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the end of week five.